Hey guys, what's happening? So today this video we continue our theme about website builder service and I prepared for you a new tutorial video and I would say in other words it will be a review video about a Squarespace. So what is it, how you can use it and actually with this website builder you can also create in just a few minutes your personal website where and you don't need any tax skills. So I do hope that this video is gonna be um, useful for you as usual and I'm waiting for your comments so don't forget the useful links will be under this video episode in the description and right now let's get down to all of this so Squarespace is ideal for creating professional websites and you know it has the best quality um, designs templates and features on the market and while it can take a little getting used to the final result results are worth your patience so I highly recommend you uh, uh, to uh, just make your personal journey right here uh, to create your personal website and just to see it will be good for you or not because you know most of my uh, time recently I've, just, I've used to uh, create many sites uh, with the help of a Squarespace and I really can tell you that it's not so difficult and that's why I decided to create this um, reviewing video for you just to understand how it works and to show you um show y'all so squarespace plans may start at 12 dollars per month but you know this website builder office uh, offers uh, many uh cool and high qualified templates that easily uh are adapted to uh mobile devices to uh desktops and of course for the tablet so basically they have three versions and you know it's customer support live chat service is very strong right here so squarespace doesn't currently offer uh, you know um, phone support I would say but talking about phone you know with the Squarespace you can add it um, your site with the help of Squarespace app so this is also a very cool feature don't forget about it and you have to know about it that uh, you can uh, create your personal website via the app or just for example you can publish blog posts update your business uh, hours or just add an announcement bar while you out and about so that's why you how uh, how you can work right here and don't worry if for example you lost your internet because if you go up line and expectantly any unfinished work will still be waiting for you when you come back so basically uh you know everything is made just you know um in the way for example you will lose your uh internet don't worry about that so let's talk about the templates because you know I told you many times that uh, Squarespace has many different templates and they are also really nice, they are modern, they are up to date, so we can check them right here. But by the way, you know, we have many categories um, and these categories are just right here from the online store till travel, restaurants, media, podcasts, uh, podcasts and other. So basically, we can create even a web uh, page, web website, uh, web page, personal for our CV, or for example, it will be um, for photography or just for food. So uh, let's check some of templates, and we can see that you know the content is really nice. The images are highly qualified. So for example, um, online store blog, popular designs, and local business. These are themes for this template and let's check a preview of ProSpeed. So this is the preview and we got three, you know, adaptive designs. So first one for the desktop and that we can observe it right here. Just look through it, cool animations. So everything is done really nice. And I've told you that here we have also highly qualified uh, templates. The next one is for the tablet version, so that what we got. And um, the last one is for our mobile devices, so you know it's small and long. So let's start from with this design, you know. So what I can say. 
I can add that Squarespace has a handy but intuitive visual page editor and this is basically the editor. Um, I would say similar in structure is found in many other systems. General accepted principles are used right here but you know this is actually the main work area and I would say that the Squarespace interface is very stylish and attractive, yeah? And you know, it operates at medium speed and that is, I would say, a, maybe a disadvantage that you have and has an equally medium level of ergonomics. So uh, there are a lot of animations, graphics, tools, some, but in some places, you know, uh, all this does not combine well and affects the, affects the usability. So it's nice, fashionable, but sometimes, uh, you know, because of the medium speed, uh, it's getting, it's get boring, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, working with Squarespace, it's uh, very easy, but you know, each, I would say, website builder, builder service has some pros and cons. So as for me, this is the main disadvantage of um, this website builder service. So by the way, here at the left side, we have the main menu section. So basically we can play right here play, add some navigation tools, add some pages, blogs, tour, portfolio, events. That is how we can work with this one. Um, the next we've got design right here. So uh, here we can change fonts. Um, so let's check them. So we have many styles, you know. Uh, we can change headings to the another one we can change hey height i would say we can change uh right here uh actually we can transform uh these tags in that way how we like it and how we see it for example in our online okay save uh the settings so um let's go back to the other uh Okay, here we have colors, animation, some spacing. What about the colors? What we got right here? So color palette is responsible for, you know, um, shades of gray. <laughs> okay, but we have three shades of gray right here. Okay, so um, uh, we have, we can browser some icons, we have image blocks, or we can just, uh, start our editing right directly right here um, but talking about the marketing here we have seal location management uh, we can work with pop-ups some with bars announcement even we can get the promotion of uh, instagram stories and other so basically i can say about the marketing that you know it is possible to launch mail advertising campaigns automated mailings according to pre-prepared letter layouts and scripts so you can create as many letters as you would like and there is a protection of course from subscribers spam because you know it's a thing that we want to get uh, what about the analytics section? It's very powerful because I would say multi-level, you know, because it includes statistics on sales, um, sales funnel, and information about traffic sources and triggered search queries. So, you know, here you can work with the CEO, with the, with up, you can get some promotions, things where you can add some URLs. So basically that you can um, play and see how it will be look on practice, of course. So I guess that this is the time to start our editing. So clicking directly to the bottom of editing, uh, we will add it to the side and we will check how it works. So I'm basically what I can say here we have uh, a desktop version. Uh, by the way, here we can change 
I'm to uh, the mobile version, yeah, but, uh, but what I can say, uh, working with Squarespace editor, it is not a drag and drop editor. You have to remember about it because uh, this is the editor where we are working uh, directly with the each section. So if I would like to change or to make some settings right here with the header, so clicking directly to the header, we have this section uh, settings and that's how we work with uh, this hitting. We can upload a logo, we can change um, some elements, add columns to add bottoms or not. So change um, size of the icons, it may look like in this way, big. By the way, I forgot to tell you that here we have, you know, uh, between two sections, we have a bottom of add section and that's why how we can add, for example, our sections if we, uh, if we like, if we want, if we see, for example, the whole image of our website. So why not? We have the opportunity and this section may be uh, from the list of sections that you got here. So it may be some headlines, list, galleries, tags, video, like widgets, yep. Uh, for example, from the video, we can upload, not, we can find um, <laughs> the widget of these videos that we like the most and to uh, save all the settings. So as for me, the better will be, for example, like this one, because, you know, it looks very nice. Mm, whole video episode. And by the way, we can upload our video, for example, or just from our social uh, accounts, adding the URL. So everything you can do it right here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, not everything, but we can change change of course and make it in small size we can make it medium or large we can just uh, uh, locate it in the other parts of the screen I would say so this um, section is responsible for colors it may be in white it may be in black it may be like a black bolt you know or um, in this way but let, let's say black bolt it's good Clicking directly to this widget, we have a video, and right here we can um, upload this video, adding the URL, for example, and these are main settings. So that is how you can work with this uh, section, or just clicking directly to this garbage bin sign. Uh, everything is how it was. So, um, clicking directly to this element with um, on, on the text, yep, we can uh, work with this text, we can change uh, the type of text, fonts, you know, you have to, uh, if you would like to change the fonts, for example, you, right here you can do this. You should do this um, in the section, in the menu sections where um, I was, uh, I've shown you on the left side, we got menu section and then we have, uh, right there, we have a font uh, section, which is responsible for the font and right there we can change it. But here di directly we are working only with the location, I would say, with the type of heading or we can make it like paragraph or just make it in this way or maybe this will be like here uh, clicking directly to the bottom down all the same or we uh, would like to save it or delete it we can uh, add to the URL of course change the size of the bottom you know it looks like just a little in WordPress most of not just a little most of the time it, it reminds me um, a WordPress but you know it's uh, very simple also to uh, work with this editor and to use this editor why not so I'm um, um, talking about beautiful uh, I would say you know <laughs> Squarespace has also advantages and pros and right now I'm talking about beautiful and responsive designs, templates that I was showing you 
uh, and you know right here we are working with this template and the pictures and the content I would say that is nice and gorgeous so it has um, good analytic tools I would say and of course Squarespace has deep selling capabilities including digital downloads so and of course, these service, you know, pages of this service, course page pages, are made up of sections and content blocks. So that's what I was trying to show you. You know, here we got many blocks, yep. And you know, sections are a quick way to lay out a page with designing it from scratch. So they stack vertically on a page and are pre-designed containers of content blocks. So basically, content blocks are the building blocks of sections. They are text, buttons, images, maps, and more. So that is how you can work with uh, directly with uh, this template. Uh, I guess that this is the end of this uh, reviewing video episode. I'm waiting for your personal opinion, as always. What do you think about Squarespace? What do you think about my videos? Uh, because, you know, I'm not a professional at this sphere, but I'm working at it and I try to show you and to be useful for you. So, uh, I wish you good mood, good luck, and see you in the next video episode. Thank you for your attention and bye!